Welcome, let's begin with understanding one of the very important topic and that is what is a difference between a thesis and a dissertation. Now thesis is an English term or a UK term, dissertation is an American term. However, in India we have a different meaning for it. In India we say PhD denotes a thesis and MPhil denotes a dissertation. So that's how we work around in India but in reality we say thesis is a English term or a UK term and dissertation is an American term. Now when we are writing a thesis versus a dissertation or a journal paper or an article there are some differences. So for let's say a thesis and a dissertation you have the following guidelines. First of all, there should be a preliminary page that would talk about the title, the supervisor's information, a kind of acknowledgement that you are trying to uh, uh, pay to then you have the table of content the list of tables and the list of figures that are included in the introduction the next to it is title page title page is very very important it talks about the name of the topic that you are working on the author's name the supervisor name and it's in a kind of inverted pyramid so that's how you have the structure for a kind of title page that is there usually it's in double spaces everything is neat and clean and very important is the affiliation so affiliation is something that is given in the title itself so affiliation becomes very very important then you have uh, the list of tables and the figures which are given on a separate page they have the numbers and the corresponding pages on which they could be found then you have the main report now this includes the introduction it includes the general question the review of literature the methodology the result discussions and the conclusions and the recommendations then you include the delimitations. Delimitation means the sample size that you are trying to take, the area that you are trying to cover, if there are any variables that are to be included, the rating tools and the techniques are to be included in it. A very important term is the discussion. Now discussion explains the result in a more detailed form. So it is at a smaller level as well as at a bigger level where you try to explain the differences between the concept under conclusion and recommendation, you try to do additions and revisions and what existing uh, suggestions are there for an individual. Appendix includes all the data that is extra that's not important for the main research. So any kind of let's say questionnaire, uh, data selection or data analysis techniques, then you have uh, the career letters or any other extra information which should not be the part of main research but you have referred or you have used in your research would be part of your appendix. So appendix is important and you have usually a lot of questions related to appendix that are asked. So this was regarding the thesis or the dissertation. Then sometimes you might be sending your articles for uh, journals for research, as research papers. So for that you need to have a very small abstract around 100 to 200 words then you have a brief introduction which in explains the theory the method that you are using the results which are indicated with graphs or tables uh, a description or a critical analysis of the research that you have done and finally the citation which should be done in the alphabetical order now this citation is again very very important you have two terms references and bibliography references is mainly used for thesis and dissertation and it is based on primary sources however bibliography is based on primary as well as secondary sources it is mainly used for journal papers and researches so a basic difference in a research and a reference and a bibliography is under reference you would list all the papers that you have referred and that have helped you in the research under bibliography you would include all the papers that have been cited or that have been referred and those have not been cited would also be included in the bibliography considering the fact that they would be important for the further researches to take place. So people who are doing further researches in those would be helpful uh, for them it would be helpful to have a bibliography. So we have talked about the major differences between bibliography and reference also in separate lectures so you can refer that as well talking about the evaluation of the report so once you have the whole report that is ready we'll just have a quick check as to our report is considered a good report or not so first of all what we will check is a title page 
and an abstract then we will check about the problem whether it's clearly stated or not whether the problems that have been mentioned are researchable to the point have uh, significant variables that are there then we would check the hypothesis how is the hypothesis propounded whether we can test the hypothesis or not are there limitations or delimitations that are there we would do a review of literature to check whether all the sources that have been mentioned in the references have been covered or not whether the sources are primary or there are important findings from the sources which are missing into the review of literature so that is something would be uh, checked in this uh, final evaluation then we would check on to the sample whether the size is appropriate the technique of sampling is correct or not and uh, the goals are distributed or mentioned clearly or not instruments and tools we would talk about what kind of data is being used what are the statistical techniques that we are applying whether it is reliable or valid or not and the interpretation settings are good or not we would talk about the procedure how we would test the hypothesis what is the lay down and how can we control the procedure then we would talk about the results under the results we would talk about the level of significance now this is some thing that comes into the research and we would check whether it is significant the findings are significant or not then we would see whether all the tables figures that have been mentioned are listed or not so a kind of verification of whatever we have done so far the hypothesis is testable or not we would check the discussions whether something is missing in the discussion or not is it consistent with the result or not then we would work around the recommendations and the conclusions checking whether the recommendations are good for further actions or there could be further conclusions or recommendations that could be included into it finally a summary that would talk about a brief of everything that has been done in the research the methods the typology the findings and the conclusion so those were some of the key objectives that we try to understand in this class a very basic class to help you understand what is research reporting how it is different in case of thesis and dissertation vis a vis a research paper or a journal article or a journal paper so those were some of the important things that we have talked about we'll be covering more lectures on research before your examination so have a very great day ahead